Okay, so I got my package of bees and I was planning on putting them in this, but it looks like I'm gonna put them in that because of the way I would, because of how I'm gonna install the package. So I bought a three pound package of bees, Italians, and I'm gonna go pick them up as part of the Long Beach Beekeeper group. They're actually delivering them to the Long Beach yard so that we can kind of get a tutorial of how to install them. So I'm really excited about this because someone I know is letting me put bees in their backyard. So this is going to be my second box of bees. So we'll see how this whole thing goes. And then I'll videotape it and then we'll all have more information of how to do this stuff. There's a lot of videos out there showing how to install packages and they're shaking them all over the place, getting the bees really upset. But this is the best and easiest way I've seen to do it. That's not on YouTube. This is my package of bees. This is where I'm going to put them into this box down here. So this is going to go really fast. Okay. All you do is put four frames in the 10 frame box and then put in the box of bees or the bee bus. Silver can in the middle contains sugar water. It has a couple of print pricks in the bottom which allows it to drip and as the syrup drips out it creates a vacuum which contains it so the bees actually have to suck on the holes in order to make the, them to feed on the sugar water. On the top of the bee box, right next to the sugar water, there's a little metal tab, and that contains the queen. So be sure to pull her out and put her into the box. You want to keep the ball of bees together. By moving the queen from the bee bus to your frames, you're signaling to all the other bees that this is where the queen is. That they're gonna, this is the sign for them to come follow her out of the bee bus. This is kind of the most important thing about installing this package, like this. So you install the bees at the end of the day, that way they stay in the hive until the next day so that there's no drifting from beehive to beehive. So they should be okay in there. And then I'm going to feed them because there, as you saw there was no foundation on the frames. So I'm going to put some feeders, I'm going to put a feeder in there so that they can have some sustenance. Okay, so now that they're in, I'm feeding them, they have a home, I'm going to come back the next day and check the plug for the queen to make sure that she can get out. They gave me marshmallows to uncork her and then put in a marshmallow so that she can 
chew her way out. But I'll come back tomorrow and do that. And then I'll leave them for a few days and then I'll remove the package. It should be empty. Then I'll put in the new frames and then they should all be gathering on those four frames on the side. But that's, that's how easy it is. So none of the shaking out packages or doing all this other crazy stuff. This was not mine. This was somebody else who taught, showed me. Bill from Bill Bees. He showed me, and then I, he got it from somebody else. So uh, mm -hmm. not my, not my idea. But it's really easy. All right. Those are bonus bees on the outside. <laughs> you can brush them off if you don't want them flying around inside your car. Um, so just bring this thing, uh, box back? Oh, uh, you can bring the cage back to us sometime. You could leave it here. Oh man, them ants are fast. Bonus ants, I don't want those. Bonus ants. <laughs> this one, I'm gonna kinda pop these loose. So okay. you don't have to, but I'm going to leave them connected because they're easy to transport. Okay. Out. So it's connected. Thank you, everybody. Connected, but it's <laughs>